What's good y'all, so I'm about to break down the sample, it has three sections and it's kind of a slower vibe, so here's the sample. I start off in contact, if you've been following me, you know I use this one a lot, so it's the Afterglow guitar by Spitfire Audio, and it's super fire and it's pretty cheap, it's not like so expensive as most of their plugins, and it doesn't take up that much space as well, so it's a really good guitar, I made this pattern with it right here, here's what it sounds like without any effects. It's very simple, but you know, as long as you catch a vibe to your MIDI, don't overthink it and don't add too many many sounds to it. Just leave it as it is and keep adding patterns and stuff around it instead, you know? I start with a A-sharp a minor chord. After that, as you can see, it's strummed as well and the velocity is kind of randomized, duplicated it, and I made a 1-5 chord progression. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so a chord down here. But instead of keeping it like this, I took the F, pitched it up to the other F, so something like this. went in here and added some extra notes so i added a c right here and also duplicated it over right here right at the end i just added an a sharp right here after that i just duplicated it over so that's the whole midi after that i went into the effects chain first thing i added was, was a juno chorus i just stuck with the default preset turned down the mix a little bit after that i added some reverb uh, from eventide i went with the black hole reverb and the h 8000 black hole presets um the next effect i added was a portal i just loaded it up to scroll through some presets but the default preset sounded kind of nice so i just stuck with the default preset and then finally just a stereo imager by waves make it a little bit wider so after that i was kind of struggling to come up with counter melodies so you know i just added a bass and it's a one-shot bass from this kit right here xy nothing cactus one-shot kit and it's the chrome bass and i just followed the root notes in the pattern right here and it sounds like this When you can't come up with counter melodies, just add some bass notes and it might might inspire some counter melodies. Anyways, that was not the case with this sample. I still couldn't come up with any counter melodies, so I went to splice and I found this phrase right here. First I pitched it down five five hundred semitones, time stretched it, and now it sounds like this. So I just layered it with other sounds and now the A section of the sample sounds like this. So the first thing I did to the B part is I used the same guitar. I used this pattern as well but I just got rid of the top notes right here uh, together with the bass and it sounds like this. I just had it like this and after that I went into Xenology. It's the tremolo soft pad preset and I just layered the guitar chords with it and it sounds like this now. Then I loaded it up in a fruity slicer. I turned up the attack hella and I also turned up the decay and I also deleted the uh, one note right here so now it sounds like this. I also added this weird little EQ to it, getting rid of the lows and some of the highs right here. And finally, I went into Loner's Synth Diaries one-shot kit or multi-kit and grabbed this perk loop. And I just time-stretched it and now the B part sounds like this. And for the final part of the sample, I kept the same guitar, same bass, and same uh, Xenology pad. And I added this little lead right here. And it was the classic mini lead by Kill September. And it sounds like this. And the final C section of the sample sounds like this.
yeah so after that i just added the stems at the end bounced it out you know that's pretty much it for the video hope you enjoyed it uh, i just dropped a new kit a sound kit with accents phrases midis and one shots so if you want to check that out there's a link to it in the description have a beautiful rest of your day peace